Hi everyone, I am Ms. Dana Lama, a grade 9 English teacher. Today, I am going to introduce a new grammar lesson called Conditionals, which is all about if clauses and how they are used. Are you ready? To begin with, I'd like you to imagine that you are in the kitchen. Take an ice cube out of the fridge and place it on the sink for a few minutes. What happens? It melts, doesn't it? Now, let's express this situation using an if clause. What do we say? That's great. If we put an ice cube at room temperature, it melts. An ice cube melts if we put it at room temperature. Have you noticed the tense used in both clauses? Yes, you're right. The simple present tense. I'd like to point out that the sentence consists of two parts, the if clause and the main clause that are separated by a comma. In the second sentence, there is no comma simply because the sentence starts with the main clause. As you can see, the if clause shows the condition in the sentence, whereas the main clause shows the result. Please read these two examples. What have you noticed about the information in the sentences? Yes, well done scientific facts. So, the conditional that expresses facts is called conditional type zero. There are three more types of conditionals. This time, I want you to assume that your friend invited you to his birthday party, which is going to be held at nine. You desperately want to go, but you have some house chores that must be done. You're not sure whether you will finish them in time for the party. In other words, you may or may not go. What will your response to the invitation be using an if structure? Okay, well done. If I finish the chores before nine, I will attend your party. Or I will attend your party if I finish the chores before nine. Both sentences mean that the result in the main clause, I will attend your party, is possible to occur on condition that the chores are done. Pay attention to the structure of the sentence. In the if clause, the simple present tense is used and in the main clause, will plus base form of the verb. This is the form of conditional type one, which expresses an action that may or may not occur according to a condition. The following examples reflect the possibility for the action in the main clause to occur. Two more types, I promise. Where are you now? Sitting on your bed? Right now, you're at home, not in class. I can't ask you to give me examples about what I've explained. Imagine you were in class. What would happen? If you were in class right now, I would elicit examples about conditionals. The meaning expressed by this sentence is contrary to the fact in the present. In other words, it shows the opposite of the present situation. The fact is, you're not in class, you're at home. Notice the structure of the sentence. In the if clause, the simple past tense is used and would plus base form of the verb is used in the main clause. This type of conditional is 
type 2. Have a look at the pictures which reflect our current situation. Think about the opposite situation and try to express it using an if structure. Very good. So if coronavirus didn't emerge, we would all be in class right now. The fact is, we do have coronavirus and we are not in class right now. To illustrate further, I'll give you another example. You're window shopping and you see a shirt you like. The money you have isn't enough to buy it. How would you express your situation using an if structure? If I had enough money, I would buy the shirt. The fact is, I don't have enough money and I won't buy it. One more type and we're done. I want you to recall a situation that took place in the past. It really did happen. Have you thought of one? Great. Now, imagine its opposite. What would have happened if it hadn't taken place? Confused? Okay, I'll explain more about this point. Last Sunday, I woke up and walked into the living room. I was surprised by Happy Teacher's Day wishes and flashes from phones. A few seconds later, I realized that I was still wearing my pajamas. Oh no! At that moment in the past, I could not do anything to change what had happened. If I had known about the surprise party, I would have dressed up appropriately. The fact is that I didn't know about the party and I wasn't dressed up properly. The sentence expresses the contrary or opposite of a situation that occurred in the past. Let's have a look at the structure of the sentence. In the if clause, the past perfect tense is used and in the main clause, would have plus past participle of the verb. This final conditional is type three. Now, I'd like you to read the following situation and think about its opposite using the structure of conditional type three. Well done, I knew you could do it. I'm sure you all agree with the last example. Finally, I have provided you with a conclusion that includes the usage and form of each type of conditional. You're going to be provided by exercises related to what has been explained. Thank you for listening.